So as you can see, this lawn is growing too much and I needed to make a fence gate. And I needed to take out one of these panels here and replace it with a fence gate so that we could get a lawnmower back here and mow this lawn. Unfortunately, all the videos that I found online were very long and made the process very complicated. So I'm gonna show you real quickly what the easiest way to do this is. And basically, you're gonna split a panel in half and then just turn it into your gate. So I'm gonna show you how to do that and I'm gonna do it quick. So as you can see, I already took the panel out. Now here are the panels laid out on the ground. And as you can see, I've already started working on one of them right here. And I put in those metal brackets. And let me show you the metal brackets that I used. I ordered these metal bracket kit on Amazon. And I'll put a link in the description. But you're going to need one for each panel. So I took one of the six or eight foot panels. And I cut it right down the middle. And then I put in these brackets. And I put in these stabilizing units. And then we're going to put it up. It's quick and easy. And that's what I was looking for, and I didn't see a lot of YouTube videos on that, so there you go. Unfortunately, I found out when I started to put the gate up that the post that the original fence was on was cracked and rotted out. And when I pulled that post out, I also was so happy to discover that it was concrete blocked in there. Um, there was about 50 pounds of concrete on the bottom of the post. So I had to get a shovel and dig that entire thing out. And rather than put concrete on the bottom of this post, I decided to put in a, a longer post and just go further down into the ground. Now the sad thing about this entire situation was that I put that concrete on that post because it was the first time I'd built a fence. And if I remember right, I put concrete on all the posts because, you know, I wanted them to last a good long time. So if you're going to be the one working on it, Lesson learned, make sure if you put concrete on the post that uh, you're going to just realize that you're going to have to take that out eventually. So that was a pain. All right, once I had my post up, I was ready to finish building out the uh, other panel. So this is the other side of that fence. I had already stabilized one side, but I wanted you to be able to see the process. So here's where I take my kit and I put on the four corners and I put in the two by fours to stabilize it. And then I start putting it up. I also had to cut a little bit off the bottom of each of these so that the gate would swing right. Then I put up my first gate on the right side. Make sure that you get everything secure and that everything is level so that the gate doesn't swing in and out on its own. If you can help it, I struggled a little bit with that. It's getting dark so I'm going to call it a night. But, big problem. When I redid this post, I didn't account for the fact that it may have shifted some. So, tomorrow, I'm gonna have to figure out what to do about that because there's a bit of an overlap. And I think what I'm gonna do is, if you can see this extra piece here, I think I'm gonna take, take this bracket off, take this piece out, and shift everything uh, over to the left a little bit, and then uh, try to put it back up. We will start again tomorrow when I got some light. So I messed up when I moved my post. Um, so what I'm gonna have to do is take apart some of this um, gate and go ahead and cut it down and make it fit. So that's what I'm gonna be working on today. So the post was mistake number one and this was mistake number two and this one was more of a pain in the post. So I had to measure and cut down a little bit off of the gate, just slice it. Uh, with my saw and so I, I took off a little piece of it and probably about almost two inches basically taking off a whole slat was too much and taking off just the half a slat that was there on the end was too little so I had to cut it perfectly and then when I put my gate up I don't know if you can tell from the video here but it wouldn't open right and that was because that was mistake number three I had left too much of a slat on the back side of the gate over by the hinge, so I had to actually get my saw and saw that while the gate was up. But I finally got it up and working and everything in order, and it swung open and shut, and I put the latch on. Other than not being completely level, this was a really good option and an easier method than trying to build a gate from scratch. I mean, all you do is basically split a panel that was already there 
and uh, just use the gate kit and some 2x4s and you're good to go. Again, there are links in the description to everything that I used. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button and check out one of my other awesome videos.